cash. Black cash. By any means, nigga. Hey, what's up, yo? Hey, shout out to shout out to uh, Pluto Hand Man for looking out on this interview. Real shit. Yeah. But uh, uh, I'm Black Cash. I'm from South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this music game for a while now. You know, perseverance is is key. Oh I yeah. Say that. Uh, lately, I've had a string of uh, good luck going on for myself. I won't make any major announcements, but uh. <laughs> Just fuck with me, follow me. We'll see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, follow him, man. Uh, this guy is one of the first guys I came across when I joined Bafa, man. And uh, your music really stuck out to me, homie. So it's it's honest, honestly awesome to be sitting here interviewing you right now. Hey, I appreciate that, man. You know, it's always great to make an impression on any listener, you know. No matter the age or genre or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate all the message in your music, too, man. Speaking of your music, uh, just uh, first question here, man. Uh, what are some artists who inspired you to start making music? Hmm. You mean like a top five rapper? Yeah. Hmm. My top five rappers. First, I'm going to say, you know, call me cliche. I'm going to go with Tupac. Hey, yeah, no. Two. I ain't hating on that. Yeah, most definitely. Machiavelli did not. You know, I'm going to go two. I'm going to go with Biggie. Three. I'm going to go with Jay Z. Uh, four. A little modern with my nigga J Cole representing the Carolinas. Shout out. Hey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Number five. Oh man. I I didn't want to take it too far back. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, I am. Big L. His, oh, big his L, metaphor yeah. and his punchlines and his aggression, his energy. That guy's you know, his confidence, on, bro. Yeah, put it on top yeah. three for me, man. Oh, yeah, bro. I definitely, I definitely love him, man. Hell yeah, um, big L. Yeah, but those guys have been an influence on me as far as, you know, it don't matter where you come from, you know, what you went to or whatever, you know, have have confidence, be proud of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no matter what anybody says, them, this music we're doing, it is a platform, so, you know, try to put out a message every now and again, but also have fun, that's what I learned from those guys. Yeah, man. It is. It's uh, it's literally a career, man, and you got to do what you love to make a career, man. It's not just a job, and uh, that's that's what I love. I'm an old hip hop head too, bro. Right. And um, I see you've been grinding hard too, bro. I see you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, love it was a must that we had to link up, man. Oh yeah, man. It was uh, it's part of our destiny, bro. We're gonna do good things. Um, but speaking of that, like uh. How long have you been, uh, how long have you been pursuing a career in music, man? Like, uh, you know, how long have you wanted to be a musician? Well, to be honest, I'll tell you like this. Uh, I've been writing since I was 10. I actually spit my first bars at the age of 14, you know, just hey. messing around and psyching my homies. And... Around the age of 16, 17, I ran into a homie of mine. Shout out to my boy Easy, you know. Um, we actually, that was my first time actually getting in the studio and laying down a track. Oh. And ever since then, I was addicted. I heard myself, you know what I'm saying, in those headphones. You know how it is, bro. I know how it is. I heard is, myself bro, in those yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, I heard that beat. Too. My mind started turning. I got addicted, bro. So that's a good feeling, there, bro. I'm pretty much stuck with it. You've just been chasing that feeling ever since, eh? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. That's how it is. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's but just like, like it's just like that Mary Jane. You get your first hit, you always <laughs> looking for that first high, you know? <laughs> I'm in love with Mary Jane. Gotta have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotta have it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, bro. But being a musician and being uh, like for so long in the music industry already. But uh, what's your biggest struggles you've had to find so far? Uh, my become 
so far is out reaching out. You know, yeah. I'm basically I'm not even gonna lie, I'm a loner. So it's it took for me to get on out of my shell and uh you know what I'm saying, reach out and network, show my face, show my brand, get my music out there, you know, don't be concerned with the feedback. Just put that tunnel vision on, no obstacles in you know, yeah. in your path and you're good. Yeah, I feel that too, man. Uh, that's one of the hardest parts for me until I found Bafa, yo, and then that stuff started making it easier for me, G. Yeah, man, Bafa, um, that grew fast. That took off like wildfire, man. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, took yeah. off like wildfire, man, and that's good what y'all doing, man. That's great, matter of fact. That's outstanding for the underground, you know, and if you don't know about Bafa, what you need to do is do a little research and get yourself on in there and network and make some connections, you know. You can meet people like uh Mr. Pluto Han right here. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm always here, bro, putting on for Bafa. We're trying, bro. We've had such an explosion of people, it's literally been like hard to deal with this many people. But uh we're chill we're still trying, man. We I love hearing that. I love hearing people put on for Bafa G. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Daddy's doing an interview. Hey, right now. black, black cast jewelry. <laughs> this is why hey. I do it, boy. <laughs> say hey, say hey to the people. Oh, thank you. Hey. Hey, welcome to the interview. Who's your favorite musician? <laughs> he wants to know who's your favorite musician. Who you like the most? Um, figures. So you like Daddy. <laughs> We got to go. It's a good thing. Uh, I have two kids. It's rough. But it's beautiful. Yeah, man. I love her, man. She's uh, four years old now. Yeah, my daughter's almost um, four now. I learn from her every day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm grown, so. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing, bro. Um, on to this next question here. What's the ideal, like, the ideal end game for you as an artist? Like, where do you want to see yourself? when you retire in the music industry? Five years from now, I want to see myself. I want to see Boss Live Music solidified, guaranteed position in the, in the game where I can help people like myself and other people that um, need a platform to uh, get their music and their voices heard. Also, <clears throat> Also, I want to be. Come on, baby girl. Also, I want to have my merchandise out there. You know, I want to set up a networking platform for uh, all indie artists. You know, I'm not trying to save the game, but you know, I'm just trying to <laughs> trying to do my part. You know what I'm saying? If given yeah, the opportunity, man. I will. And uh, also, man. By the way, man, I want to give a shout out to uh, Sony Music. An ugly nine game, lyrical punishment. Yeah. Hey, all family. Yeah. That's what. Uh, hey, shot that my nigga Joe Grizzly. You. Shout out. Salute. <laughs> all right, we'll go on. Uh, oh. One more question, I guess. If you. No, we'll go two more questions. What is one message you want to spread and be known for? I want to spread message that you can do it yourself with enough perseverance and the right vibes and the right mind you can do anything you put your fucking no matter what the hell it is that's what I want to be an example of you know what I'm saying yeah, perseverance that. that's an awesome message you hear that message in your lyrics bro you, you definitely hear it I'll be showing them all sorts of your music so this uh, interview while this is going, but uh, yeah, and the see, final that's, question. That's I know about, we got a man. family and stuff, that's... so I'll let you get going. But uh, if you could have any superpower, Black Cash, what would it be? If I could have any superpower, I would choose strength. Yeah. yeah yeah. Just be flexing on him, I, I feel that. Yeah. I feel Anytime that. I want, I could do anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
<laughs> whole world in the palm of your hand. They came, Mr. <laughs> Pretty much all the questions I had to ask you uh, today, but um, if you want to let them know about your upcoming projects, stuff like that, you know, uh, feel free, man. Oh, speaking of let them know, thank you, man. Um, <laughs> I have a new song out called Let Them Know. The video has been uploaded to YouTube, all my other social media platforms on my other music platform you know I can't provide you a link all you gotta do is ask you know but even if you don't ask chances are you probably end up scrolling your time <laughs> and see me you know yeah, yeah. See the but um right now I'm working on a collaboration with Royal Family Boss Life Music and Royal Family you know we um working on a video for my single Don't Got It if you haven't heard it you know that's on SoundCloud um I'm doing a 4K video shot by uh Dr. Joe Grizzly himself the song uh, has been produced by uh, Kid Cosmo. Shout out to my brother Kid Cosmo. I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this, boy. We're going to, hey, ain't no stopping it now. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, thanks for coming up on uh, the interview, man. I, I appreciate that so much. Thanks for taking some time out. And no problem, brother, man. Anytime, and you know. Uh, Anytime, brother, and when you get when you ready to roll up, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, I like this boy, you know what I mean? don't sleep and they stay dressed. Pull up on that block where you stay next. Straps on deck like advocates for safe sex. Eyes red and I'm rolling on them jiggers. Trying to keep my itchy finger off the trigger. I can't hear all of that yapping, I'm gorilla. So say it.